Um, so we have a severe weather alert day it's today. First alert um, weather yep, day. First alert weather day here, and so we need to pay attention to the sky, especially this afternoon for okay. us. Uh, we'll be here monitoring that for you, but you should also kind of keep an eye out there. Even though it's Mother's Day, don't let your guard down some on those uh, storms possibly developing. So outside this morning, taking you back through the uh, morning hours with the airport time lapse camera here, you can see the clouds staying with us in many spots, but in some locations you can kind of see some thinning of the clouds, the stratus deck kind of coming apart some. So it will brighten up in a few spots through the morning hours. Now, when that happens, it does set the stage for a little bit more of a uh, stormy afternoon versus getting cloud cover all day and rain showers. So the weather alert day goes from about 5 to 11 tonight. I think it's going to be the approximate time frame. Now, it could be a little bit earlier in some spots. Just want to let you know this is, for your Mother's Day planning, the most likely time to see some of those storms. Now, you'll need an umbrella through the day today. It won't be a washout, but you'll see some showers here and there. Heavy rainfall will be the threat with some of these storms as well as damaging winds. I think this would be one of those things you'd have to be concerned about with these storms today. Small hail, not quite as much, but it is a possibility. Lingering showers into Monday morning before we clear out. The rain chances stay moderate through the day today, so have the umbrellas nearby. But later this afternoon, things do ramp up some, so hopefully you have indoor plans for later in the day, perhaps inside a restaurant with mom uh, for some dinner. All right, a slight risk for some storms in the yellow area and a marginal risk in green, but all the states in some sort of a threat for today. It's the lower end of the scale, but all it takes is one one storm to get really bad to turn into a severe weather outbreak here. So we, we do need to watch the skies and be careful today because of the threat. Now, why do we have this threat? It's because of this cold front. It's a strong one. So as it marches eastward, it's got a lot of lift to it. And ahead of that, we have this warm front bringing the warm, moist air into play. So as that progresses, you can see the colder temperatures are back to the west there. It's in the 40s across much of the Midwest. That air is trying to push its way our direction. Radar this morning firing up a few showers to start the day. Moore County, Lee County, into Chatham County, now into Wake County this morning. And we're going to see these showers continue around Raleigh, Cary, Wake Forest, over through Durham. So if you have travel plans around first thing this morning to go see mom or grandma or they're coming to see you, uh, you likely will see a few showers across the area. Clayton as well picking up some of that rain now. So future cast shows the heavy activity of rainfall this morning now moving towards the Crystal Coast this morning. But as we head through the morning hours, watch what happens right about here. And remember that line that I showed you with that slight risk. Here you go. There's some of the thinning of the clouds. And if we can get some sunshine, that might fire up those storms. So that, that line really corresponds about, I think, where it should be for today as far as the risk for storms. Now, as we head through the afternoon, that's when things start firing up more as far as heavy thunderstorms, okay? Showers, first part of the day, thunderstorms late in the day. Not a total washout, though. Okay, so here we go through the morning hours tomorrow morning. Should be dry by the time we get to our morning commute. It will likely clear out pretty quickly tomorrow, so we'll hopefully see some sunshine towards the later portion of the day. So futurecast temperatures takes us through the 60s, through the morning hours, lower 70s around the sand hills, moving into the mid 70s for the noon hour, so lunch with mom. Probably won't be the best day for being outdoor lunch, but it would be nice to be able to uh, not feel hot, hot temperatures, and that's what we'll feel like at noon. By the time we get later this afternoon, only into the upper 70s, lower 80s around the sand hills for us. Uh, so temperatures are not exactly the threat today. It's more the uh, severe weather outlook for later on in the afternoon. So I have things shaping up like this. I'm going with those 50% chances of seeing some showers through the morning hours. I think we'll get a lull from about 10 a.m. through about 2 p.m., but then firing up again through the afternoon. But nevertheless, we do have instability in the atmosphere, so we could see a shower at any point through the day. As we head through the next few days, the pollen threat will change some. It'll be a little lowered because of the rainfall and some of that wind out there kind of keeping things away. Um, so that'll be good for us as we head through the next several days here. Watch what happens with our temperatures down in the lower 70s by Tuesday. Look at Wednesday morning's low in the upper 40s. It is going to be a chilly one that day for sure. And then our temperatures gradually warm back into the lower 80s. And possibly next weekend could be a pretty hot one for us as we head into the later portion of the week. But for now, let's talk about these storms. Keep sky aware today. All right, babe.